Welcome back to my channel, SciTech. In this video, I'm going to overview the Battlefront's mobile gameplay test on the smart TV using the ROG Phone 3. Yes, friends, ROG Phone 3 has got a special type of USB 3.1, which is a side 3.1, and the bottom one is a normal USB 2.0. So let's see. Using the side 3.1, how good the latency will be there between the ROG Phone 3 and between the smart TV. That's what I'm going to exactly demonstrate in this video. And I do have the Type C to HDMI cable at this moment, as you can clearly see. I'll try to use this Type C to HDMI cable and I'll try to connect the ROG Phone 3 to the Smart TV. And we're going to play the Bad Ones mobile game. Let's see how is the gameplay experience and how is the FPS. That's what I'm going to exactly discuss in this video. If you have any other queries, let me know in the comment section below, friends. Definitely. So, right now I'm trying to connect the Type C cable to the ROG Phone. So, this is the ROG Phone which I got right now, and it is the HDMI cable. Let me try to connect to the HDMI cable to the Smart TV. And let's see what happens next. What are the notifications we get here? So, is the HDMI port? Let's check. So, I connected the phone to the HDMI 2 port right now at this moment, and uh, there should be a notification saying something. Let's see whether it is again notification or not. Otherwise, I'll try to open the HDMI 2 port here. So HDMI 2. So right now, as you can see things clearly, the ROG phone got casted exactly on the TV. At this moment, you can clearly see here. Right now, it's very smooth, as you can see. It's very smooth. It's there is no problem at all. Now let's try the Bad Events mobile game playing using the Type C to the HDMI cable. So how is the FPS count and everything? I'll try to show you. Meanwhile, so right now you can let me try to enable the real time FPS uh, statistics if possible. So you can actually focus the game. Wow, the gameplay looks really good, friends. As you can see, exactly playing in this mode. So you can see the top FPS also it's maintaining really good, like uh, 60 FPS consistently it's maintaining. So right now as you can see, I'm trying to use the 90 FPS as well, but uh, when you're trying to use the screen mirroring or if you try to use this external cable, so the refresh rate will be limited to only 60 hertz. That's what the message I did get. So you don't have any kind of option to enable uh, 90 FPS or 120 hertz. It's completely locked at this moment. You can clearly see here. So meanwhile, you can enjoy the gameplay. So it's really good as you can see since the latency and let's check how it's a gameplay experience wow oh my god it's very very damn good it's really good friends so right now i connected to the wi-fi network before i did connect to the 4g data that's why the there's a lot of latency has happened but right now what are the gameplay experience wow you can watch on the tv as well if you want right now i'll try to play using the phone Wow. Just imagine playing the Asphalt 9 game. That will be really great playing the Asphalt 9 game in this uh, TV mode. Wow, 60 hertz. That's perfect. Not, no problem at all. Wow, that's fantastic, friends. I wish the more phones they implement this kind of uh, USB 3.1 port or 3.0 port as well. But overall, it's really very good experience playing in this uh, mode using the Badimans mobile game in that big TV. It's my first time playing the game in this way. I did enable the sensors to reload as well. Shake to uh, reload, that option is also working perfectly fine. As you can see, say shake to reload, perfect. So meanwhile, let me slightly increase the volume if possible. So you can actually see the difference how it is. It's very smooth. It's very smooth. You can see the volume.
so let, let me know in the comment section below friends what are other games you want me to test definitely i'll try to do the testings as well with other games as soon as possible I'm trying to use only the triggers options at this moment. The temperature seems to be quite good, not, not an issue. At this moment, it's kind of really difficult for me to look at the TV and play. Let me know in the comment section below friends what are other games. So other games you want me to play Call of Duty or uh, Asphalt 9. I'll definitely be able to play those kind of games. But overall it's very smooth. Wow. It's 60 FPS, 60 Hz. Maintaining continuously 60 FPS as well. Not an issue. Playing in the smart TV. Wow. Look at the TV guys. It's very smooth. It's like damn. So previously also I did use a couple of other uh, USB T.1 ports but still. There used to be some kind of little bit kind of lag, but this phone is basically designed for the gamers, so that's fantastic to see this kind of performance. So maybe in the hopefully in the future the Realme phones also should implement this kind of uh, thing, Realme MI phones. The phones which are releasing with the 30,000 range, they should have this kind of uh, USB 3.1, I wish. So that's it friends, thank you for watching this video and in case if you have any other queries, let me know in the comment section below and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I'll try to create the gaming channel as soon as possible on this ROG Phone 3 very soon. So see you in the next video and let's stay for more updates. Meanwhile, signing off friends, thank you for watching. Bye.